This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 41. Is Comet Ison really a comet? If it walks like a duck, talks like a ventriloquist dummy, and acts like a dragon, obviously, it's a dirty snowball. WTF are you talking about, everybody else? Apparently, I call it a jet rink too fast. And then apparently I said it was just a comet too fast. Now we have one of the absolute top respected comet scientists in the world saying that Comet Ison is not really acting like a comet. It's not acting like a, a fluffy, cuddly comet. It is acting more like a solid body. Now some people have said that it appears to be a comet within a comet and a comet within a comet is not a comet like if you have a horse within a horse it's not a horse if you have a car within a car it's not a car it would either be a horse horse or car car so maybe Ison's a comet comet no things we know about Ison that are abnormal one it's only rotating on one of its poles two it's brightening non-brightening brightening seems to be confounding everyone and breaking the natural laws of comet brightening in today's super lazy mainstream media slash journalist and i use that word journalist very lightly they all use the same story basically cut and paste from the ap i guess and they describe it in different ways for example the huffington post says comet ison photo shows downright weird space rock en route to the sun nbc describes it as observers perplexed by comet ison's erratic performance and Space.com describes it as Promising Comet Ison gives perplexing performance on route to the sun. And as I said, this is all basically everybody uses the same article. And there's a single quote in here that caused everybody to kind of flip out. Quotes by John Bortle sent everybody into a, a frenzied tizzy as he stated at this stage of the game with the comet about to cross the orbit of Earth. I cannot recall any previous comet in my 50 plus years of comet observing looking quite like this. So what does Ison's current look foretell or mean? I honestly don't know. All I can say is I don't like the odd look of it at this time. I don't like the odd look of it at this time. That sounds kind of doomy and where I totally respect and appreciate an actual accredited respected scientist sticking his neck out having some balls and saying yeah okay this thing's acting weird i am mildly disappointed that he doesn't go into all the things that make comet ison a little different than other comets other than its appearance about a week ago comet ison champion bruce gary stated i don't know what's going on with this comet and it says here analyzing all the observations made since september 4th show that Ison is responding to the sun more like a solid body would respond rather than as a typical fluffy comet. All right, so that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. This story that's never boring just got a little more exciting. Now, the more I think about it, and it was on my quest to call it a jet rink, where that science seems to define everything in our solar system in five categories, the sun, Planets, asteroid, comet, or moon. Planet, planetoids, there's not much difference. And then they just put dwarf in front of everything. Now that kind of feels like oversimplification, if you want to ask me. And technically, I'm going to say that by the fact that you are watching this video, you are technically asking me, what is going on? And I'll still say I don't know, except for things are weird. And also, I want to mention that often people ask me about discussing Comet Ison and what effect it had on planet Mars. But I don't know. And there's no way for me to verify what did or did not happen. So even though I like to get all wacky crazy and speculation action, I mean, if I had no idea, then I just best not comment on it. So it's oh, no comment. I don't know what happened. The people who know what happened ain't talking. All right. Okay, so what do we know? We do know that the sun is totally, absolutely freaking out, man. With over 20 eruptions in 3.5 days between October 25th and the 28th, some being flares, some being coronal mass ejections, and at least one was a prominent eruption. We know that the sun is totally freaking out. 
Now, a lot of people might say, hey, dude, that's just the normal, minimal, maximal, double peaked solar maximum of 2012, 2013, 2014. You know, it always does that. But those people are crazy. So we know that for some reason, the sun's freaking out acting abnormal. We also know there seem to have been a lot of sun divers lately. And I'm now under the impression that the sun is having a giant party and all these comets are coming. And we can tell by all the solar activity that they are partying their asteroid and comet asses off. Because having a good time is a good time, if you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna stay tuned to this story and see what happens. I mean, shit, 41 episodes in. Think I'm gonna quit now? Heck no. Okay, great. God bless everybody. Stay smart. Stay cool. Be an awesome astonisher. And I must say, the more unknown is unknown, the more doom potential it has. Nope. Who knows, man? Not me. Okay, great. Appreciate you sticking around. Talk to you soon.